All right, so we're talking about kind of the feasibility of the our integrations for PCI HIP. Is it is it PCI HIPAA? And the, but the product that you're looking at, what's the name of the product? It's Office Safe. Um, okay, perfect. Yeah, and again, I'm pretty fresh, so I I, I actually. Um, you know, had a, like a 30 minute conversation with Jeff about, you know, his hypothesis. Yeah, I can actually, have you seen the PCI HIP at the office safe product um, um, with bit. them? Yeah, I mean, I, and I'm, I'm actually yeah. going to start utilizing it myself. So yeah, let's, let's go through that. Let me give you the overview of this and then I'll kind of um, j jump in and we can talk about that in a little bit more detail because I think it'll be, I'll start with just the overview of what we do from an integration perspective. So we integrate okay. with the majority of, so when you integrate with these four, specifically these three, you get about 80% of the market, right? So there are a lot of other practice management systems. I mean, I hear, hear of a new one popping up almost every day. Um, and so, but this gets you the majority, Dentrix being the, the number one, uh, they have the most market share. Um, and if you go to the Dr. DDS page, there's the integrate dental link, and that's what brings you to this page. There is a ton of information. Um, pricing is pretty clear. So we have, um, you know, in fact, one of our customers, uh, Zanya right here, she uses one of our competitors called Sika. And she said, we've saved her, saved her over $300,000 by utilizing our service. Um, the, what we do is we have a one-time fee versus an ongoing fee. So we literally just build the bridge for you. Um, we actually give you access to the source code directly in here where like Dentrix, these are all the different uh, repositories in Bitbucket. Um, and here's the Dentrix repository. We give you about $250,000 worth of code that's taken us uh, many years to develop. Um, and we'll give you, you know, one of the things is, and you know, you're, you've done a lot of these projects, right? The key is mm -hmm. not necessarily building it the first time. It's all the other little things that pop up, the other little issues. I call them mosquitoes, like you know, little little <laughs> flies that bug you, right? Um, and because yeah, yeah. of all the times that we've done this with our customers, we've ironed out all of those issues along the way. So you get a really clean uh, integration. So these are our this is our Slack channel. So these are the customers that use the integration. I mean, we've got the top. Um, review product, the top warranty, uh, you know, all kinds of different companies, treatment planning, um, patient news, which is marketing, couple marketing companies, um, and scheduling companies and whatnot. And so you get access to this main uh, Slack channel. And then also what we do is as you're having, you know, issues yourself or things may come up or questions as we're building it, uh, we'll, we'll build a, we'll have a little one-on-one -on -one channel. This guy, Martin Gubler, is the guy that actually built the Dentrix developer program. So he is literally the guy on the other, who built the other side of the bridge that we're connecting to, and he's built our integration for us um, over the last you know, several years. Um, any questions on that so far? No, that sounds great. Um... Yeah, so it's, it's pretty clear. You know, you buy, if you were just to buy Dentrix, it'd be 15K. If you buy Dentrix and Eaglesoft, it's 20K. So. The first one is where we do the bulk of the work. The only thing we really need from you, uh, first of all, you have to join the Dentrix and Eaglesoft developer programs, um, which is typically about two to five thousand dollars, and then they have a per practice fee of between fifteen and thirty-five dollars, and that's uh, you know that's not my cost, that's their cost. This one-time <laughs> fee gets you twenty hours of consulting on our side to be able to help you set the product up. Um, normally people use about five um, and we can get you up and running on all four integrations in the span of a week um, where if you were to go out and try and build each of these from the ground up, it would probably take you about two years. So um, we yeah. completely cookie cuttered it, completely commoditized this. Um, you know, there, it, it becomes a no brainer uh, to use this. And that's kind of where I've, I've priced it. That's where we've, uh, you know, built it out. I'm, I'm getting really creative on how we're doing the pricing, breaking it up into multiple payments and things like that. Um, right. And, and, uh, and yeah. just quick question there, the support model is yeah. mainly through Slack, you know, if they hit issues, things like that. Um, cool. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, that's what most developers right. prefer to use. Um, we do have calls and I'll send you a couple of samples of some onboarding calls that we've had with customers and all we need to get you up and running are, is the API key from Dentrix and Eaglesoft. We need to know how often you want to sync, to run the sync. And most people do it every 10 minutes. That's the default. 
Um, mm -hmm. We also need to know what the endpoint is that we're sending the data out to. And because we've normalized the data across these systems, it makes it a lot easier because you're not having to build multiple different endpoints to take each of them in. You're getting yeah. one normalized piece of data from these practice management systems. And then the yeah. fourth, thing, fourth thing that we need, we need to know the fields that you want. Um, so mm -hmm. if you go about three quarters of the way down the page here, there's this integration data field categories. It's about halfway down the page and you click on fields available and it brings up a Google sheet because this is constantly changing. We're constantly adding more fields. Based on the level of API that you have from Dentrix and EagleSoft, Open Dental is just like it sounds, it's much more open. We also just added TDO Endo and Curve Dental. So we've got a couple others that we can help work, work with you on as well. But this is a, a long list of all the different available categories, you know, operatories, treatments, scheduling, appointments, insurance, all the different fields, payments, uh, you know, notes, adjustments, document centers, things like that. So take a look at this list and figure out what you guys might need. That would be kind of the next probably internal discussion is what are the fields yeah. that we need to be able to do that? So let me, yeah, let me uh, throw that out there to you. So yeah, the, the basic thing here. So have you, have you done an integration with PCI HIPAA before? Um, with no, Dentri we haven't. No, okay. we, uh, we, we're going to use the product and they use our database for, for their marketing purposes. Uh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, so my question is, so, so the main scope here is around, so, so essentially they have a HIPAA um, product and they have an OSHA product. So it's, a, it's around compliance and, uh, you know, their, their hypothesis, let me just make sure I didn't lose you there. Me you know, their, uh, I'll I, end I, the recording since that's kind of more overview for you guys internally. I'll stop that. So.